right back with Penn and Teller, who I got to tell you, man, this is like a big moment for me, because I've been a fan of these two dudes for a long time, man. I really have. So, like, this is really cool for me. And I'm glad they're here. Uh, right now, they have a mind-reading trick for us. So, Penn, you tell us about it. Uh, well, you know, uh, there's, uh, you probably know this, there's uh, the most exclusive magic club in the world is the Magic Circle. It's over in London. And, you know, David Copperfield's a member and uh, Siegfried Roy. And they have a museum there. And they got in touch with us and asked us to have props from our show to be put into the museum. Mm. And they do, took stuff from the, um, the bullet catch that we do, the sick we did, sent them the helmets. We wrote articles for them. And then we wrote to them and said, you know, um, we haven't gotten our membership cards yet. And they said, oh, we talked to the board of directors and we don't want you to be members of the Magic Circle. And we said, oh, why is that? You know, not in those words. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. They said it was because we gave away secrets. That sometimes we give away magic secrets. Now, always in service of a, of a bigger magic trick, and usually things we've invented, but they didn't want it. So there's this coven of old men in London keeping their stupid little secrets. <laughs> so we took that as a challenge, and we decided, could we do a trick that would fool everyone in the magic circle and still give away all the stuff we gave away. Now, way back in 1985, in the David Letterman program, we stated that every blindfold used by a magician was fake. And we showed how to do that. We're gonna do this trick with a blindfold that can't be faked. Tell this found an unfakeable blindfold in the audience. Watch your step there. And what is your name, our newest friend? Dominique. Dominique, hello, Dominique. You're gonna make sure Teller cannot see. N not permanently, oh. <laughs> but just temporarily, Dominique. Just put your hands right over Teller's eyes right there. No need to be gentle, it's oh. not me. There you go. <laughs> now, you know, Steve, that uh, we get accused of giving away the idea of marked cards, but everybody knew about marked cards before us. But Dominique's gonna make sure the cards aren't marked. De the card's gonna be dealt face down to Teller's hand here. Now, if the cards were marked, he'd have to see them. You make sure he can't see, you know the cards aren't marked. You said know a little bit about cards, Steve. Uh, one way to do a card trick is to know in advance what card's gonna be selected. That's called the card force. We yeah. gave that away on Johnny Carson. And you probably know a lot of ways to do card forces. One of the easiest and the stupidest is you have 52 cards that are all the same, have someone pick a card, you already know what it is. But uh, you can see that, Steve, those are not all the same. I'll try to show you all of them, but that's a, right, uh, that's a full deck there. Yeah. The other way to do a card force is to use sleight of hand. You know, you can yeah. force the bottom card, the top card, or a card in the middle. But I'm gonna make sure that I'm not doing sleight of hand by using Steve's hands. Take a bunch of those, take most of those there, and fan them out, fan them out like I am. I have fewer than you, but fan them so you can see all their faces, Steve. Look at all their faces, all their faces. Look at one of those cards and just think of it, Steve. Don't pull it out, don't point to it, don't cut it, don't do anything, just think of one of those cards. You got one of those cards in your got head? Got it. Just need it. Now close them up so I can't tell what you're looking at. Close them up. Okay, now here's your chance to show off there, Steve. Give those cards a good shuffle. Or give them that kind of shuffle. That's good too, Steve. <laughs> now those are all shuffled up there. Nicely done there, Steve. Awesome. Those are all shuffled up. Now, Steve, you know that one of the things magicians do is try to get you to not remember the sequence. Right. So you want you to really remember the sequence. Now remember, uh, you have not said the name of the card, have you? That's right. Okay, right. And you have yeah. no idea where that card is in that deck, right? No. I'm gonna put these in your hands. Now the order will not change. Okay. The order will not change. Now they're in your hands okay. and not mine. Right. Just say for the first time the name of the card you thought of. Just thought say of. Say it right now. Right now. Out loud. Yes. Ace of hearts. Ace of hearts. Go deal the cards face down to Teller's right hands from the top, okay? I like the way you just throw them down like you mad. <laughs> That's what I'm a little angry little. Now, Dominique, was he able to see for even a second? Yep. Not for even a second? Steve, what was the name of the card you thought of? Say it out loud. Yep. Ace of hearts. Ace of hearts. Look at the next card. Look at the next card. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Penn and Teller. Uh, you like that video? You want more? Well, you're in luck because I got more. Press that subscribe button or click on this list and you can see all the great Steve Harvey YouTube videos that you want. You ain't doing nothing right now.
Just do me a favor, just press the damn button.